Hey everyone, welcome to the third episode of Devonville. Today it is a rainy one and it's also my birthday. So I'm gonna take you out with me to uh, celebrate that. Uh, we're gonna start the day off with uh, a haircut. So I'm gonna be going to the Black Rose Barber Shop. I've been going there since they've opened. They just recently opened, I think about a year and a half ago. My barber Dylan, he's been in the game a long time. He's awesome and I, uh, I can't wait to get all cleaned up. So uh, we're going to do that first, and then we're going to head over to St. Andrews, um, St. Andrews, New Brunswick, to go to the Algonquin. We're going to go to the Algonquin for a couple of nights. We're going to do some fun stuff there and do some sightseeing. It's going to be a lot of fun. Join me. So this is Dylan. He's been my barber now for hey. like what, five, six, seven years? Long time. It's been a long time. Yeah. Uh, people say that we kind of uh, look alike. Wait till he gets cleaned up. It looks more like. That's right. Yeah. Just like that, Dylan. Hey. Look at that. See? We're almost 20. That's We're right. almost there. We're getting there. We just gotta do the shape up around there. And just like that, the hair is cut. Ready for birthday shenanigans. Let's go. We are now heading to St. Andrews, New Brunswick to the Algonquin. I've been told the Algonquin is known to be haunted. Saying goodbye to the humble abode for just the next 48 hours. But we're all straightened up. Dishes are done. Things are put away. The new update for Spider-Man 2 is ready for me when I get back. New Game Plus has just been added. Happy birthday to me as of March 7th. Making our way down the gloomy, dark, lonesome highway. And we made it. Here we are at the Algonquin. Oh, that's cool. There's a water slide. Some Algonquin merch. These are, that's a nice hat. I like this color too. The Algonquin Resort Mysteries. This is what it's all about because I'm quite curious about some of the hauntings and shenanigans that they say has gone within the walls of the, Al the Algonquin. A flask with some shots. Some more hats, some Under Armour swag, Ooh, some slides, complimentary drinks. Some pictures of when the Algonquin was first established here in the beautiful town of St. Andrews, New Brunswick. We've almost made it to our suite where we are isolated here. And an isolated suite, 13 to 15. There we go. What's this double room? So first we'll start with the bedroom. The rooms are nice and spacious. Big, beautiful bed. Nice little TV. A chair. 
spacious bathroom. Well, I mean, spacious enough. All the space I really need. And if you're curious, they do allow dogs at the Algonquin Resort. Up to two dogs, really. Bentley, have a field day. Coming into the lounge area, I've had a happy birthday cake presented to me, which I'm extremely thankful for. 32 years young, baby. Woo! And uh, yeah, this is just an area to hang out, which I'm going to hook up some video games and let's take a look at the view. They have a pool house. The slide comes out of the building and makes it makes its way back into the building. That's so cool. I can't wait to go slide on that slide. And we can see our car from here. Nice. For dinner let's go eat some lobster well dinner was absolutely delightful i was served uh, a full lobster on on just a plate hey guys, with some butter and it couldn't have been better it didn't really fill me unfortunately <laughs> so now we are uh, ordering more pizza or ordering some pizza this is nice good morning ben did you have a good sleep? Good, buddy. Good. Good boy. Yeah, they allow pets here at the Algonquin, as I had mentioned, up to two pets. And they'll even offer a dog sitter if you have to leave your little guy alone for a little bit. Isn't that right, Bent? Pretty cool. Well, we made it to the morning and it was a wonderful birthday. And this is what they call the breakfast club. Because it's a club sandwich. It all comes together. You got some uh, over easy eggs, you got some bacon, you got some chicken. And you got obviously some home style taters. And I'm not eating them. I keep catching myself gazing up at this. It just hangs over the couch. Sorry for the glare. That's the Algonquin A right there. Their logo or their brand. Some stamps. There's the beautifully accommodating Algonquin Resort, our first night in the bag. And now to explore the wonderful town of St. Andrews. Funny story is when I was here with my mother and her boyfriend at the time, and Kyle Burke was in the back seat. My mom's boyfriend took the vehicle down here so fast, hit a turn, went on two wheels, and claimed he did that on purpose. <laughs> my mom was freaking.
Fun day discovery aquarium, St. Andrews by the Sea, New Brunswick. Gift shop or eco market. Huntsman Marine coffee mug. Yeah, I like these. Not some mermaids. All sorts of little stuff. Some poppers. Oh, there's a toidle. Ooh, I love toidle. Yeah, I like him. He is cool. Hey, buddy. That's it's coming your way. Yep. I know where everything's in. There's a clam thing? Yeah. There's where it is. You can tell if it's a boy or a girl. If it's white, then it's a boy. If it's pink, it's a girl. So would this be a boy? We don't know. We can't see what color it is. <laughs> We got some rare Pokemon here. We got a white lobster and a blue lobster. Look at the size of that. That guy does beat the size of the lobster I ate for supper. Sorry, I ate your brother. Did you know I have two stomachs? The first stomach has teeth used to crush my food. Interesting. I have two urinary bladders located on either side of my head. That is very strange. It hurts when I nip you, sorry. Blue lobsters are one in two million. Yellow lobsters are one in 30 million. My legs, claws, and antennas uh, can regenerate. Unfortunately, not my eyes. So these guys over here are, well, the blue ones are one in two million and the yellow ones are one in three million. 30 million, 30, 30 freaking million. That is a shiny Pokemon card. Put a star on that. That is a full art follow Pokemon card. That's going in a sleeve. Huntsman Harbor Seals. We have some seal friends here. You can't see them from this angle. However, we're gonna make our way downstairs. And this should bring us to our new found seal friends. Look at this. <laughs> Here's some Atlantic salmon. They don't really need to blink. This is neat. This guy looked like he got attacked in his face or something. It seems like there's a couple of chunks. Oh, no, no, no. That's what they happen to have. This guy has the same thing. Okay, that's just how they look. Hey, buddy. What's going on? Yeah. He's looking at me. Come say hello. You're on YouTube. The spotted wolffish lives in deep, colder waters. It feeds mainly on hard shell prey, such as sea urchins and crabs, using its mouth full of strong teeth. But it will also eat fish. He looked like he could sing the opera. So when you come to a land of Canada, that's the size of our car. Ooh, baby! It's alive. Just when you thought nothing was in the tank, it's camouflaged to the tank. Look at the rainbow trout. They are just playing. This guy here is curious. There he goes. Oh! We got some seahorse here, kind of hanging out. These are what you call a, a harbor seal. He wanted to play there for a minute. Oh, there he goes. 
And now I present to you here on Devonville, a baby seahorse. Look at the size of him. Let's take a peek at, uh, we have a few eating over here. Oh, we got baby seahorses eating. We have like that one big one kind of like conducting them, showing them the ropes. Yeah, male seahorses are the ones that give birth. So that must be the dad showing them the ropes. Hey buddy, there's a harbor seal coming up for some air. Look at the nostrils. <laughs> hey bud, how are you? Oh, they're everywhere. Just doing laps. Doesn't matter what age you are, I think an aquarium's fun for all ages. This one's performing. Oh, look, here's the other one. We got a performance. <laughs> yeah. Hey, bud. In recognition of Professor Dr. Keith Ronald, co-founder of the Huntsman Marine Science Center in 1969, the first president and chairman of the board of the Huntsman, Professor Ronald has been an extremely active participant in the support of the Huntsman between 1969 and the present. Today's seal habitat owes a debt of gratitude to Professor Ronald's pioneering assistance in developing the first seal habitat in 1973. So thank you, Professor. Well, that concludes our visit to the Fundy Discovery Aquarium, AKA the Huntsman here in St. Andrews, New Brunswick, Canada. Watch your head. Oh goodness, look at us. Okay, we're going down to the gallows here. So is there any stories with this door? Or it just happened to be one of those. It's just uh, what everybody signs nowadays. Oh nice. Look at this. Really cool. I know there's like a 1981 on there. Yeah. Super cool. More recent ones like 2022. Yeah, there's a 99, Stephen Crab. That's about as far back as I can see, but I see that there's, yeah, there's 1954. Interesting. And go back further. Is your name on here? No, I didn't put my name on here. <laughs> I already kind of got my name. A lot of people apparently have my name, Roy. 2023. <laughs> Roy's already up there. <laughs> Perfect. Almost the year I started too. Is that right? Yeah, I started in 23. Oh, okay. I believe Tyler Green's right here. He's coming back this year. So this is the piano right here. Okay. It is about this. This has the story of the piano playing 
Bellman. Okay. He came back here just before the fire and he loved to play for all the guests, of course. And when the fire did come, he came back in to save it and he must have pulled like a darn because it has no wheels on it. Okay. Pulled it out to the front lawn, he saved it. And when they rebuilt the building, they brought the piano back in. Yeah. He was also rehired himself. That's locked up. Oh, that's awesome. Wow. So he came back to play it for many more years until he had passed away. But we don't think his passion has passed away because he still comes back to play it every once in a while. Ooh. That was a little trick. It's only at three and four in the morning. So some customers get a little upset at this. So they come down <laughs> to the front desk saying, hey, why is this guy playing the piano? We'll bring him down here and point out this piano and be like, is it this one? Well, I'm going to have to tell you something, sir. It is locked. There's no way for us to unlock it anymore since we lost the key. Wow. And the key was made out of 100% ivory and elephant tusks, so we can't remake it either. I'm just heading this woman up in this window. I pulled it what? down for you. Right there. Right there. She doesn't have, she is, she's headless. <laughs> That's so neat. But this is the point where I usually say this story has been debunked because okay. of future technology being able to enlarge your photos and keep them clear. Yes. If you go to the second or fourth floor, you will find this photo a lot larger and you can kind of see a great outline. Oh, okay. All right. So she, they do have a head. Yes. She does have a head. Just not in that photo. Neat. Unfortunately, Love she it. does have a head. And today is the day we leave the Algonquin Resort. It was a fun 48 hours. Um, a really good birthday, had some good dinner, and had a lot of fun. But now it's time to go, and I want to thank you so much for joining me on my adventures to St. Andrews and getting my hair cut before that. And uh, I look forward to you joining me on the next adventure. Okay, take care. Bye.